In this problem we're told a 14 kg bucket is lowered vertically by a rope in which there are 163 newtons of tension at a given instant. What is the acceleration of the bucket and is it up or down? So let's go ahead and write down what we're given. So we're given that the bucket weighs 14 kg. So we know kg is mass. So the mass of this is going to be 14 uh, kilograms. We also know that it's lowered vertically by a rope in which there is 163 newtons of tension. So we know newtons is force. So force, and I'm going to call it force sub t because it's uh, tension. Uh, and it's going to be equal to 163 newtons. And then they're asking us what the acceleration of the bucket is. So we're trying to find a. I'm going to say a equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. And so we know the general formula for force is force equals mass times acceleration. Uh, but in this case, uh, notice that it's going to be tension. So the tension formula for force is a bit different because you have to take into account gravity. So tension force is going to be equal to mass times acceleration plus gravity. So that's the difference you make. You have to take into account gravity for this. But keep in mind they're asking us for acceleration. So we're given force and we're given mass, but we have to find acceleration. So what we should do is manipulate this equation in a way to which we can solve for force or solve for acceleration. So if I go ahead and divide both sides by m, we're going to get that a plus g equals f sub t over m. And so if we want to get a by itself, just subtract g from both sides. So we're going to get a equals f sub t over m minus g. And so now we have it in this form and we have all these variables. So keep in mind that g is just gravity. And so gravity we know on earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. So that's going to be the number we substitute for gravity. So if we go ahead and plug everything uh, in, we're going to get A equals uh, the tension force, right, which is 163 newtons over the mass, which is 14 kg. And then we're subtracting from this uh, gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So if you go ahead and do this, uh, plug this in your calculator, you're going to get that acceleration equals 1.84. And so keep in mind what acceleration is measured in. So it's measured in uh, meters per second squared. Uh, you can round however you want. I'm just going to leave it like this, though. So 1.84 meters per second squared. And so that's going to be the acceleration of the bucket and the answer to this problem.